Welcome to the first fall episode of, well, okay, I guess I already had a fall episode, but that was in northern New Mexico. This is the first southern New Mexico fall episode. It is almost fall here. It's still not quite peaked. I think we got about a week or so of goodness. Also, we got my new favorite lens. I've been very excited. I've, I've missed my lens. This is the new RF 24-70. Well, it's not new, <laughs> it's new to me. I've always had a 2470 for years. And then for the last year or so, I haven't had a 2470. Also have an R7. I don't think I'll be using, I don't know, what do you think? You think I should do an R7 landscape video? See how well it does for landscapes out here? Why don't you test one thing at a time? Pick either the camera or the lens. Okay camera lady told me to pick one or the other so I'm gonna pick the 2470 which means I'm gonna need my R5 so today it looks like we're gonna be rolling with the R5 and the 24 good grief that's heavy I forgot about that <laughs> the 2470 it feels really like strangely balanced though. The other good thing is finally, I have all these filters from the last time that I had a 2470, which is the 82 mil. And um, now finally I have filters that fit it. <laughs> I don't have to hold them over the little primes. Okay, so uh, there is, I don't, you probably can't hear it because this thing does a really good job, but there's actually water back here in this little creaky thing and i've never seen water in this before it like dumped on us last night and we're still having like random monsoon episodes out here which is crazy in the end of october so we're gonna roll with it though i might get some water in places that i've never seen it before so let's go check that out and see what i heard a bird maybe i should do r7 birding video okay Camera lady's looking at me like she's gonna murder me. So we'll stick to the R5 and 2470. Let's go find some stuff. So in typical me fashion, I found probably the most sketchy potential uh, photo here. I can't put a tripod up and I really want to, but here, here's, let me, uh, hold on a second. This is what we're looking at. So this is the creek here and that's my feet. <laughs> I, what I like about this is that tree right there. This is very delicate balancing. It's a little bit sketch, um, but that's in the regular mode. I think I like it better, like look at it this way. So we get more of that tree, we get the river, we cut out a lot of the yuckies, but then we have in the top left there, we have that bright sky spot. So if we just, 
Look at that. If we just cut a little bit of that out and move just ever so slightly, we get, we'll get that tree backlit and we'll get this. I really want to put a circular polarizer on right now, um, but I don't want to move. I'm certainly not going to try that. Ooh. We'll see how this episode goes, huh? All right, so I'm just going to, here's what I'm going to do. F16, ISO 100, just going to single shot, focus on the middle. And I'm at one sixth of a second. So I want to get maybe a little bit of water and then I'm just going to spray it. So by, by putting it in burst mode and then just doing a bunch of rapid shots, that's going to help increase that one of those is hopefully smooth. So I don't know, we're getting a lot of dappled light. And in this case, I don't really like the dappled light. We also have a lot of wind. The wind when I'm trying to accentuate the trees is the opposite of what I want. So like, I think what you would do is put a tripod down, shoot a really fast shutter, get your tree, you know, your leaves, 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 <laughs> uh, frozen motion wise so they're not blurry and then do another shot, blend it without moving the tripod of your smooth water. But obviously I'm not gonna do that because I'm standing up here. I don't think it's an award-winning image by any means, but I'm just out here to have fun. And um, this is fun. So maybe the image will work, maybe it won't. Now I just gotta figure out, how did I get up here? Maybe I wanna go this way. I don't know. Okay. This log is, tree is, Maybe not the best idea. Well, that wasn't so bad. Cool. I really like, if you can get backlight on fall colored leaves, it looks really pretty. But I think now that I'm on safe ground, I'm gonna bust out my circular polarizer. I think that'll be a, well worth it to have for all the, you know, when things get shiny, out here, like when the leaves get shiny and the water's shiny and all that stuff, that's when you want a circular polarizer. That's when it's gonna be happy polarizer time. This is really uncomfortable. Oh, hi. <laughs> Funny seeing you here. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do to get the shot, right? So we found, we're like, we're literally on the side of the road. We're like 15 feet from the side of the road. New Mexico is like roadside photography heaven. Uh, but this is normally, there's no water in here, like ever. And like I said before, I've actually filmed a video here before, a fall colors video, like a couple years ago. And we were like in this creek bed. It is, there's no water. Anyways, there's water now. And this is a new addition also to the uh, thingy. So I've got my tripod down here and I've just got it stuck in the river. And um, just trying to get some shots. So here's what I'm looking at. This is kind of the scene. There's a little bit cropped off there on the top because of the 16 by nine, but that water's harsh, so check this out. I'm just gonna put my polarizer 
and I think somewhere right in there looks pretty good actually. So I am at, uh, settings wise, I'm at F11. So I do want a little bit of depth of field. Um, we've got this overhanging colorful tree. That's kind of what I want. But the problem is it's really close to the sky. So I'm just trying to get it framed to where we can have the best of both worlds. And I might have to do some exposure trickery or something with that. But the other hard part that we're having, so I want to get a little bit of, I want to get some sort of smooth water. Um, <laughs> but my tripod's in the water, so it's making it difficult, and the, you can feel the current pushing on the tripod. So I've got my left hand holding it down, uh, just to like physically pushing it down to give it a little more, and then again, I'm in uh, burst mode. So I'm just gonna hold that shutter down, and I'm just taking a bunch of shots, and then I'm gonna go through them, and hopefully one of them will be sharp. So I'm just gonna zoom in, look to about where I focused and scroll through. And we're getting a lot of motion blur here, but these ones are looking okay. So then when I find the good one, I'm gonna go ahead and rate that because my R5 has a very handy dandy rate button right in a very conveniently located place. So I'm gonna go ahead and rate that. Let's go see if we can get around this thing. The, the, the problem is like the closer we get to that tree that I want to shoot, the harder it's going to be to shoot it. It's like I wanted to shoot it from back here. If I can get up on that bank and get a little zoomed in, that might could work. I don't know how I'm going to get up on that because I really don't want to, I don't want to practice my tightrope tight rope walking on this thing. <laughs> All right, so we've gotten away from the log of pain. <laughs> uh, we're on the other side now. This was the bit that I was shooting and I like it from this direction. So I'm gonna try to go down there and find something. But right here, <laughs> I don't know what I want with the light. Earlier, there was like a lot of sun and there's like these red patches. Here, look here. All right, so I'll show you what I've got. So this is my composition. If we look uh, right there, you see that red stuff back there? Look at that, you see that stuff? That is like the red, the ferns are turning red and it's really pretty. And they were like backlit, which was amazing. So now we can see my composition, but then the light went away and now they're, they're red, but I don't know. Overall, I think I do prefer the clouds because it's helping those colors pop a little bit and it's not blowing my sky out. And from the looks of it, we might have clouds for a minute. So that's my composition. Um, I'm not really sure still about the composition. Again, it's not award-winning. I think actually if I go a little higher, then, oh look. So now we've chopped out the sky, but the downside is the very top of those, that's where I want the, I want that in the frame. I think I like that better. I think that looks pretty good. So now we are and I got to readjust my circular polarizer. There we go. All right, so now we're rolling at F16. Um, 0.4 seconds. So I'm just going to tap to focus. This isn't like blowing my mind for composition wise. So let's, uh, let's go find something else. Let's keep walking. I really want to be able to shoot that tree. And there's so much color like up there, but you can't get to it. 
Maybe if I had a drone. I should invest in a drone again. All right, this circular polarizer is a lifesaver though. I'm glad I grabbed it. I didn't grab anything else from the car and I'm not scooting across that thing again <laughs> until it's time to go back. All right, let's go. The second I said, we're good with clouds for a minute, the sun comes out and now, we're, it's, now it's way harsh. On the upside, let me see if I can grab this real quick. Nope, there goes the light again. <laughs> it might come back. All right, so here's what we're looking at. So it's a little bit wider. I can't zoom out um, with the crop, but we've got this goodness down here with these uh, ferns that are starting to turn. We've got tree there and a tree there, which I kind of like the symmetry. And then everything's kind of, there's like a little V because there's a tree dead center. And that's kind of like pushing you in. And then we've got this river cutting across in the background. And then in the very, very background, we have my red ferns or the, I think that's like poison ivy. The poison ivy out here, I don't see any right by my legs. Um, the poison ivy out here is really pretty when it turns. It turns the really yellows and reds really cool and oranges even uh, and it grows as like bushes out here too so that's that's really cool all right so let's uh let's try to grab a couple shots at some different and i'm just doing single i'm just doing uh single i'm not going to focus stack because i'm shooting f16 and there's nothing super close to me so i'm just going to focus kind of in the middle where everything is and um Hopefully that will be okay. And again, I'm just gonna take a few images in case I need to blend or whatever, uh, but I'm happy with that. Okay, I still think we can do better. I wanna get maybe, of course the Bracken's on the other side and the, the red stuff. I want to get in there. Maybe after we go scoot across there, I'm not going to do that more times than I have to. All right, let's keep going. Okay, this is looking better. I think we're getting closer, so check this out. We've got, oh, we've got this nice little arching business going on there. We've got this multicolored happiness over there on the left, so you can see all of that. Um, my composition's gonna be a little bit wider. What I don't like, though, is that tree right there. So I'm gonna try very hard to get that out of the shot. My battery just died. So, let me change the batteries real quick. Back in business, all right. So now we're rolling with F16, uh, half a second. And I think I want it higher and I want it like looking down a little bit because again, the theme of today is like cut out that sky. I'm gonna stop underexposed right now with this half a second and again, because of the sky. So I might try to do some sky photoshopping to deal with that. I'm not really sure. See, if I crop in though, the problem is I don't wanna lose it's going to be a little too tight. You know what I might do? I think I'm going to go out like that again at 24 mil, but I think I'm going to make like a, a pseudo pano and I'm going to do either a two to one or, a, or even a three to one uh, ratio. And that will cut a lot of that sky out and that panos look really cool anyways, right? So I don't know if I keep that tree, if I keep, uh, there's a little bit of crop because of my 4K. I think I'm in, cause I'm in 4K 60. 
Uh, but if I keep this tree in the left right there, if I keep that actually in the shot and, and let it have a little room to breathe, uh, that might be okay. So let's see if that works. Half a second is doing decent too because we don't need to bore the water like super crazy. We just want to show some motion uh, and we don't want it completely frozen either because none of those look great. So I'm going to piddle and see if I can get a slightly better composition. I think we're getting really close to some better compositions though. I, that red stuff is really catching my eye though and I want to find a way I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to get the red stuff from over there with a river in the shot. But we're just, let's just keep moseying on around. Why is my tripod being weird? Okay, there we go. Make sure it's locked down before I walk off. Let's see if we can find anything else interesting around here. Okay, that was a little more sketchy and intense than I had anticipated. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're definitely gonna wrap it up here. There's more about a half a mile down that way that I want to explore, but uh, it's getting late. We got a lot of stuff to do at home. It's dinner time, it's tea time. So we're gonna wrap it up here. I love the New Mexico forest. So I, the, New Mexico has a lot of variety of forest. If you watched my last fall episode, those forests in northern New Mexico are way different than the forests we have here uh, in southern New Mexico. This is the Gila forest and it's just so dense and cluttered and overgrown and it's it's beautiful to you know get out and hike in, but it's really difficult to photograph in. So I'm not like I'm not 100% stoked on those images, but I think I got a couple that were pretty cool. Uh, now, of course, it's cloudy, which is great for the light, and it's not windy, which is great for the long exposures of the trees. So when I was shooting earlier, we had dappled light and wind. <laughs> we're gonna come back uh, maybe next episode, but definitely we're gonna come back a few times this month. There's definitely some more stuff I want to try. Maybe we'll come back out next time with just an R7 and mess around. I also saw like a lot of really cool macro opportunities for like mushrooms and leaves and stuff. So maybe bring like the 35 macro out or something. But either way, we're going to come back. I'm going to get some more fall stuff. Fall's just getting started for Southern New Mexico. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if any of those photos jumped out at you. I haven't seen them yet, so I still don't know if I like any of them. <laughs> but I think I do. If nothing else though, like as usual, it was just amazing being out here uh, in this weather. Like I just, fall is my favorite time of year. I love being, I love being out in the cold and it's thinking about getting cold and it's like 50 degrees. All right, I'm rambling, it's tea time. If you're still here, I super appreciate it. Hit that like button for me because that's the best thing you could do for my channel and I will see you in the next one very soon. Thank you.